Today I'm gonna walk you through a perfect run of Mega Man 1. Welcome back, this is Iceman Stage, home of this ridiculous creature named Crazy Razy. Make sure you shoot his head or else it'll fly off his body and attack you, just like in real life. This next area is real laggy, true to the original 1987 release. Let's just pretend it was intentional. You're jumping into cold water and it's slowing down your senses a little bit. I'm gonna open up the floor here. Do you think they should have introduced an option to smoothen the gameplay and clear all the bugs and glitches? The Legacy Collection is more like an emulator of sorts for the original six titles. They didn't go reproducing the games or anything. The mobile versions, however, have been built from the ground up because of the obvious hurdle of optimizing the controls. Has anyone who played the mobile or tablet versions got an opinion on it yet? I saw a trailer for it a few weeks ago and all the comments mentioned how bad it was. And now that it's come out, I can confirm that it has frame rate issues too. If you're gonna play Mega Man, just stick to the Legacy Collection. This is a game that requires tight controls and sharp reflexes. Alright, this next one's tough. I recommend you wait until the blocks complete a cycle before starting. There's also this trippy bug that lets you warp through the ceiling if you glitch the magnet beam. But that's not what I'm trying to demonstrate. You can quick hop these two blocks, and if you fall there's a smaller chance of getting hit by the trap. Alright, now we're good. That was a picnic compared to this next part. If you have a magnet beam, use it. And remember to hold it down to extend the length of the platforms. For those of you just joining and have no idea what I'm doing, this is a no damage buster only speedrun of the Mega Man 1 Robot Masters. If you're going commando, prepare to treat this part like a no damage run anyway. Because getting hit usually results in getting knocked off. With a little bit of patience, you will prevail. Alright, with a lot of patience you'll prevail. If you want the extra life, make sure you jump up instead of falling down the hole. It makes turning left much easier. These big eye robots are a total buzzkill, and they're a strain on the thumbs if you don't have a turbo. I prefer to go for the takedown, especially on the ice where running is slippery. One last farming opportunity before fighting Iceman, so make the most of it if you're low on energy. <laughs> Look at this guy, you call this a boss? It's just a man in a coat. And if it were orange, you'd think it was Kenny from South Park. Only dumber looking. His bullets aren't that tricky to dodge. Coming down on the second jump is a bit challenging at first, but it shouldn't take you more than a few attempts to get the timing right. So jump over the third one, and then jump over the fourth one. And they repeat every six bullets. And if you're really good, you won't even need to worry about horizontal movement which makes this fight that much easier. What did you guys think about Iceman? Did he deserve to die so quickly? 